So it's 2,000 square feet. It was a theater run by a man named Ron, gay guy. Well, he ran it for a long time, but uh, like live theater, Ron died. <laughs> so um, what is it you want to uh, use it for? Oh, a, a gay theater company? Oh, well, then this is your place. Can you give us a few minutes? Uh, sure. Uh, to look around, right? Yeah. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Yep. When I was a kid in Maine, there was this couple Jeff and Kevin, they, Kevin directed the plays and Jeff performed in them and they always just seem like they're having so much fun creating art. Mm. It was Andrew and Josh sound. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if you guys are interested, you better jump on board because if not, this is going to be a yoga studio. Yeah. We'll, we'll take, take it. it. Great. I'll get the paperwork. You know, my beautician is gay. Okay. <laughs> Ready? We're doing it. What's it feel like to work? Start from the beginning. You kidnapped two boys when they were young. It was before you were born. I got rid of them when I got pregnant with you. I gave them to your Uncle Roger, who you never met because you couldn't know any of this. And then Billy Jarris's abduction brother found me and I didn't know what to do. Darlene told him everything. I don't know where he is or I would kill him too. And we all happen to know each other? That's not coincidence, that's my life. Jairus' real, actual sister? She turned out to be his best friend. Ron, that's not possible. Don't tell me what's possible. That happened. This all happened. God is working against me. Maybe God's working for you. That's Nate. What's he doing here? I don't know. This works well for you. Where's the gun? It's right here, in the glove compartment. I don't know why they call it that. Nobody puts gloves in there. It should be the gun compartment. It's simple. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello. There is a man outside my house. I saw him toss something into the shrubs. I love you so much. You're welcome, mother. Hi. Jennifer, it's Travis's mom. Travis attempted to take his own life and the doctors don't know if he'll survive this. We're all here at the hospital. I'm sure he'd love for you to be here when he wakes up from this coma. What's right, what's wrong, how much, how long? Slave to the clock, the ticking won't stop. Somewhere to be. Hello? Jairus, hi. No, I'm, I'm not with him. Devin? Are you sure? We find me and uh, we'll be right over to your place. I'll just. Just calm down. We'll be over shortly, okay? Just calm down. We'll be there. Hey, come on, what are you doing in here? 
My ex died. Devin? They was arrested. Are you okay? No. Of course you're not okay. Sorry. But I never fell out of love with him. Pretty fucked up, considering you're my boyfriend. Did you love him when you told me you loved me? That's the thing. I never loved you. It was fun. Do you really mean that? I don't know. I'll never be him. <laughs> they can pretend, hoping that by some miracle he'll come back to me, but it doesn't matter. I always just think about him nonstop, like I always do. So, I screwed up. Well, they always leave, don't they? I don't. I need you to get out of my life. You have nothing left. Only I will Just about Joshua. I loved him. I fell in love with him. Hey, look. Uh, you know I'm new to this dad thing, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to get through this together, okay? <laughs> If I told you that you're beautiful and no one can love you more than you can. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you're gonna be alright. I never met anyone like Joshua before. He was a rebel with emotions that nobody could predict. Secrets deep inside, which if pushed, he allowed entrance, but there was a few steps inside that entrance where he learned you were destined for defeat. I love Joshua. But I love myself a little bit more, and I deserve to be at the top of your mind. Andrew typed the last sentence of his now award-winning column, taking a pause before dropping one glimmering tear from his left eye. He took a sip, he looked out the window, and smiled.
victoriously. Uh, folks, we're going to take a break, and then afterwards, Jairus Matthew Moore will continue with chapter four of his autobiographical novel. Uh, if you're interested in the back of the shop, ladies and gentlemen, there are autographed copies of the book. The success of the book is pretty incredible. Thank you. Devin? Look, I, uh... I'm sorry that I don't come and visit you as often as I should. Take you for drives like I used to. This road trip is fun though, right? All you have to do is, is go over there and take what she has to give you, and then you can come back. But first, we need to get you a shave, Kevin. 